think we should be good this time. Sometimes I actually hate technology so much. Okay. Thank God the audio is working. For some reason, my audio input got switched to a different mic that had no audio playing. So, <laughs> hello, everybody. Um, because you didn't hear me before, um, it is Saturday morning. And as you probably noticed, I didn't upload a video because my upload schedule has currently changed. Um, I'm going to be trying to upload on Sundays now. Um there's not really too much of a reason for the change. I just wanted to try it out and see um, how that does. <laughs> so since I'm not uploading today, I wanted to paint. Um, this is like nothing huge or like intricate or crazy. Um, it's just a little drawing that I did of a, <laughs> a little space hamster and some different planets and stuff and then I thought like as I paint I can just chat with you guys because I know a lot of the times um I get asked to just do a chat stream instead of gaming and stuff so here we are I'm gonna paint and talk to you so um yes how how is everybody doing? I have to figure out what colors I want. Obviously, we need blue for the water of Earth. <laughs> okay. What? Okay, maybe a different blue, though. Maybe that blue. And then... Let me see. Ooh! I have so much paint. Okay. Probably gonna want orange red hmm what's a better red this is a deep red oh gosh there's so many paint colors and choices <laughs> oh tomorrow's your mom's birthday happy birthday to your mom oh thank you alex for the donation um, I would play Animal Crossing, but I don't have a Nintendo device. Um, I really would love to get a Switch, but, um, currently it's just not in my budget to get one. I hope I can get one in the future, and then I could probably stream a bunch of games, especially Mario games, because Mario is, like, my favorite. Babbling Blue. <laughs> okay what sometimes it's actually really hard to chat and do anything at the same time I don't know how full-time streamers do this because my brain is like not thinking we're just gonna start off with the with this or should I do the background first no 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 no, no. that's that's no we're not gonna do that <laughs> four five colors to start off with <laughs> spiked flies that is very sweet of you but I I can save up for a Nintendo switch myself <laughs> maybe I can find like an opened box one or even a refurbished one I think would be just as fine do I paint regularly? I I enjoy painting. I don't know if I do it regularly. Um, I want to try to paint more because it's definitely a relaxing activity. It's just like I need picking the brush is like so important. Probably a thin brush. Yeah, let's do that. Hi, Jaffa. What should I name my hamster? It's a girl and she is yellow. Names are so hard. I think it just really depends on uh, like what you want to name them. Because for me personally, like I sometimes like to do hamster name themes. Like for the longest time I did um, food themed names. Um, and now currently I have a Gravity Falls 
TV show theme. So really, whatever you want to name your hamster. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot that this blue is like on the, the uh, it's a, <laughs> it's a little squished. Well, thank you for the donation, Minded. How am I doing today? I am doing pretty good. I woke up like an hour ago. Okay, actually, I woke up six because that's when Sadie wakes me up. I fed the cats and then I crawled back into bed and went to sleep. Um, and then I just woke up like an hour ago and was like, I want to stream. So here we are now. Hi, Megan. How are my rabbits? Um, the rabbits are doing good. I really want to do a room tour of their room soon because I've been, um, doing some new things. Like I got this window film that makes rainbows when the sun comes through and it's so pretty when the sun actually comes through. Did I used to have a gecko? Yes, I had a crested gecko named Saffron, but unfortunately he had suddenly became really aggressive and it was stressing the both of us out. Like I couldn't even walk past his tank without him like immediately waking up and lunging at the tank. He just like basically wanted to like <laughs> attack me like I was a bug um, and it wouldn't like he wouldn't change no matter <clears throat> what I did so it was in his best interest that I rehomed him to somebody that knew a little bit more about like reptiles and handling them and things like that ah Lillian you have two rats do you watch emmyology by any chance if you have rats I feel like this is going to take me actually forever. I try my best to reply, Sophie. It can definitely be a challenge sometimes. Um, but I, I really enjoy responding to comments because I know what it feels like if you ask like a creator a question and you don't get a response. <laughs> Like, I know how that feels, especially if it's, like, something that you, you're you curious about, that you're not going to be able to find the info anywhere else yourself. What's the hardest pet to take care of that you own? It definitely would be the rabbits. Like, they're not hard necessarily, but they require a lot more care, if that makes sense. Um, and they can be pretty, like, sensitive. Um, GI stasis is always a big worry with owning rabbits. <laughs> I think every rabbit owner knows this. I knock on wood. There's, okay, there's, like, no real wood around me. What has the world come to where there's no, what? Knock on wood. I have not had a GI stasis scare in, like, I want to say it's been a year now. So... I'm, I'm very, um, happy with that. <laughs> My hamster has mites. How do I get rid of them? Um, you're definitely going to want to see your local exotic vet, um, and they will prescribe you with a treatment. There's different medications that they can prescribe, but, um, they'll basically tell you which one they recommend. <laughs> um, and if that one doesn't work, then They'll prescribe you a different one, but you're going to have to see the vet. My favorite flower. Hmm. Oh my gosh. What is my favorite flower? I really like hibiscuses. Those are so pretty. Just the fact that you can get them in so many different colors and so many variations of colors and uh, oh my gosh they're just so pretty it makes me sad because I used to have a very pretty hibiscus plant um and it just it died <laughs> and that's the second hibiscus plant that I've just like not been able to like 
make thrive. So I just stopped. I was like, you know what? I can't do this <laughs> because obviously hibiscus plants are just not for me. Should you neuter or spay your hamster? So it's really not necessary to neuter or spay your hamster um, if they're just perfectly healthy because one, hamsters are solitary. So they're going to be living by themselves so you don't have the issue of reproduction. Um, and it doesn't change their, like they don't have the same hormones as say a rabbit does. So it's not going to make any difference in that aspect. <clears throat> the only reason you would neuter or spay your hamster is if they had a health condition like uh, pyometra or testicular cancer. Those would be like the reasons you would go ahead and do that. Look at well, how far we've come. Yay. Is this? Okay, yeah, that's good <laughs> how many pets are ideal to own for you and why that's an interesting question for me I think the current amount of pets that I have or I guess when Mabel was still alive that was well now I have I don't know if the I don't know if I necessarily like count the shrimp tank as like included in my pet number because the shrimp are literally not they really don't require daily care they require they're more like a hobby but I would say for myself like six is a a good number that I'm able to maintain and care for everybody but it also depends on like what type of animals if that makes sense Thank you, Alex, for the donation. My hamster is two and a half years old, but I've noticed he's not eating as much and not coming out as often, too. He's healthy, though, so I'm not sure what to do. Um, Honestly, it could just be that he is old. Um, when hamsters start to get older, they are definitely going to slow down a lot. They might sleep a lot longer. Um, as for the eating, if they're not eating as much and you're offering like seed mix and hard foods, it might be because they just can't chew the hard foods as much anymore. So instead of offering like seed mixes and stuff, which you still should do on the side, definitely try to um, offer some more softer foods like you can get safe baby food. Um, you could also get some, what is it called? I was feeding Mabel it. It's, <laughs> I'm not, it's like critical care, but except it's for omnivores. I think it, maybe it's called Omnicare. Um, and that's like a soft food that you can also feed them. That's easier for them to eat. How's Waddles? Waddles is doing good. Um, I just saw him last night, and he was running around like a little noodle boy. <laughs> what kind of shrimp do you have? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the neo, neo something. <laughs> That's what they're called. So they're like they're like little dwarf shrimpies, um, and mine are the blue ones. I genuinely don't know which ones they are because at the the fish store they had two different species of like the blue it was either like blue velvet shrimp or blue diamond <laughs> shrimp I think that's what it was um and I'm not sure which ones he bagged for me Is it bad if your hamster has blood on her wheel? Well, blood is never a good sign um, for anything. Um, what that could mean, um, first I would look over your hamster physically because it's possible that they might have just cut themselves on something. Um, and then when they were running, it was bleeding, obviously. So I would check that. 
Um, if you find that your hamster is literally not got a cut on them, um, I would definitely try to get or try to look at their urine the next time they pee because it's possible that they have a urinary infection or if they're a female, they could have pyometra. So that's definitely something you'll need to look for. And if you find that they're peeing blood, you're definitely going to want to see a vet. <laughs> My eyeballs are going to go like, I'm going to go blind trying to read these comments. And I have slow mode on. How is JJ? JJ is doing good. The cats have been really happy because it's been nice out, so we get to sit on the balcony, and JJ loves sitting out in the balcony. I'm not sure if this is, like, a thing for just, like, black cats, but he loves the sun. Like, he will sit out there and just bake himself for so long. He just loves it. Aw, congrats, Millie Bobby Brown. That's really exciting. When am I getting another hamster? I am not. Um, I'm just going to have two for now. Because uh, Waddle's old enclosure, it, kind of, it didn't take up space, but it made the room feel very... I don't know what the word is. It just made it feel like tighter in there. And now that it's moved out, when you like look into the room, it's just a lot more open. And I really like that. So it will just be the two DIY enclosures for now. Have I done horse riding before? I haven't. Um, I feel like that would be really, really fun. But it's just not something that I've done. What is a 100% necessity, necessity for free roaming bunnies? Um, a, a litter box. <laughs> Definitely. Um, hey, I feel like there's a lot of necessities, but I think that's just for in general rabbits. Um, what else is a necessity? I mean, obviously you need to, when free roaming, bunny proof the room so that it's safe for your rabbits like if you have cords make sure that you put cord protectors on them and things like that <laughs> hi emily i hope you have a good day as well okay i think this blue is done i think i think the blue earth is as blue as it's gonna get oh i should do the green next Hi, Miri. Is that how you pronounce your name? I'm sorry. I'm so bad at pronouncing names sometimes. Should you take your ham... Or not hamster. Should you take your rabbits on walks? Um, no. There's really no reason to take your rabbit for a walk. Um, and it's definitely going to do more harm than good. Hi, my fantastic hamsters. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Quinn. I love your name. My parents' dog that we had growing up was a black Labrador named Quinn. She was a very good dog. <laughs> Do you think a winter white hamster is a good hamster? I, I think any hamster species is a good hamster. I think they're all special in their own way. I don't think there's anything necessarily bad about them. Um, and it's going to come down to personal preference as well. What type of paint are you using? Um, it's just acrylic. I really like, I like acrylic and watercolor paints because it's just, it's so easy. It dries so fast. Um, and acrylic, you can kind of turn it into watercolor if you just water down the paint you get like a very similar effect 
So that's that's one of my favorite paints. <laughs> Have I ever thought about owning gerbils? Um, I haven't really like sat down and thought like, hey, I should own gerbils. But maybe someday I will. Um, I know they're very, very energetic. Um, and I just sometimes get scared with like overly energetic rodents. <laughs> um... And that's kind of another reason why I, I don't want to get a Robo um, after I had owned my Robo Tater Tot. Like, she was such a special Robo, and she was fast and crazy, but she was also very, like, would go onto your hand, and I didn't have to worry about her, like, running away or anything like that. So... That is one of the reasons that I probably don't want to get another Robo. I also just feel if I got another Robo, I might try to, like, think of them. Like, I might be upset when they're not the same as how Tater Tot um, was. <laughs> that was, like, off topic, too, because you asked me about gerbils, and I went off on to Roboroskis, but... Maybe one day I'll own gerbils. You play tic-tac-toe with your gerbil? That's so cool. I don't think I've ever held a gerbil before either. Um, and for some reason, sometimes I just get, like, nervous about animals that I've never held in my life. Like, I've never held a rat or a mouse. And so I'm, a like, I love them. I think they're so cute. But I'm a little bit scared to hold them. And I just, I don't know why. It's my own issues. Do I like snakes? Um, I don't own snakes personally, but, um, and I've never held a snake or anything like that, um, but I think they can be really cute noodles. What is my dream pet? I don't know if I have a dream pet because I'm, I'm very happy with all of the pets that I have right now. Um, oh, I kind of wanted a Duprassi, but they're just not, they don't exist where I live. So the possibility of getting one is just <laughs> none because they don't exist here. But I think it would be cool to have one. They are kind of similar to gerbils. Um, their tails are just slightly, like, shorter and chonkier. Where do you get your pets? <laughs> um, well, for the majority of my pets, they have been adopted. So, Sadie and JJ both were kind of, like, in adoption situations. They didn't come from a shelter or anything. Um, Sadie came from basically like a farm and my friend had brought her home intending to keep her and then she wasn't allowed to keep her so I ended up with Sadie and then uh, JJ my ex was kind of told like or my ex was asked to like look after this tiny kitten for this random stranger while he was at work and uh a week went by and my ex was like, hey, do you want the kitten back? And the guy was like, no, you can just let him go. <laughs> um, so obviously that didn't happen. Um, and then, yeah. And then Waddles I adopted off of Kijiji. Um, and then Dipper is from an ethical breeder. I hope you reach 100 million subs. Thank you. <laughs> How often should I play with my hamster? That's going to completely depend on your hamster. Um, some hamsters don't want to interact with humans at all. And in that case, then I would say probably don't play with your hamster because then it's going to cause them more stress than, than like what you're trying to do. But 
if your hamster really loves coming out and interaction, um, as long as they're waking up on their own, I would say, like, you can take them out as long or much as they are allowing you to. Um, for example, like, Dipper will like to come out sometimes, and, and I take him to go free roaming in my bathroom, and I'll usually just sit in there with him until he falls asleep. <laughs> Um, and then once he falls asleep, I know it's time to take him back. So that's that's how I base the amount of time off of. Hi, Celine. What type of hamster was Mabel? Mabel was a Syrian hamster. Would I ever consider getting ferrets? Ferrets are so cute, but I do know they stink. <laughs> Um, and I don't know if I want to deal with the stink. So, for now, I don't have ferrets. But I think they're so cute. Oh my gosh, we're almost on the earth! Uh, is light teeth chattering a sign of stress? Teeth chattering in hamsters... Um, if it is like a soft chatter, um, often means that they are like just happy and content with whatever is happening. But if they're doing like a harsh teeth chatter and say you've just like gone into their nest while they're sleeping and then you hear it, then obviously <laughs> that means that they are not happy with you. My ex didn't keep JJ because... He is bonded with Sadie, and at the time, my ex just did not have the means or funds to be caring for a cat. Aw, happy birthday, Kimberly. I hope you have a good birthday. What is my favorite dog breed? My favorite dog breed. That's so hard. You're asking me just to pick one. I can't pick one. Um, I really, I love, I love all dogs. <laughs> I love so many dogs. Like a long-haired dash hound, so cute. Um, I bees and hound. I hope I pronounced that right. So cute. Great Dane, so cute. Golden Retriever, adorable. Um. What else? Australian Shepherd. So cute. Like, I just, I love dogs. I love all dogs. <laughs> are your cats friends with the rabbits? No, they definitely are not friends with the rabbits. But they, like, will tolerate each other. Like, they're not going to, like, murder each other or anything like that. But I also don't really let them interact with each other because nothing is like they don't get anything out of it so like why would you guinea pigs yes or no um for me personally I'm don't think I'm ever going to own guinea pigs I mean don't hold that against me because maybe one day I'll just like I'll own a guinea pig but um I've just never been interested in owning them but I do think they're so cute I follow like a bunch of guinea pig youtubers <laughs> And I love watching their videos, so. What is my favorite hamster species? It's definitely a Syrian hamster. I just, I love the size of them. They remind me of tiny little bears. And they come in so many different coat colorings. So that would be my favorite species. I love all the other species too. But that's my favorite. Um, Kate, if you're trying to find some, like, cheap but, like, good sprays, you could try growing your own sprays. And really all you need to do is just get a little bit of dirt, a cup, um, and any seed that you want. You could get flax seeds, 
Um, you can get sorghum seeds, millet, and you basically just grow it. Um, and you grow it until it's a big plant and then you could cut it off and then let it dry out. And then there you go. And that's going to be the cheapest way to get your own sprays. Oh my gosh. This is like a little bit diff difficult because typically when I'm painting, I would be like a lot closer to the painting, but I feel like I'm very far in order to stay on camera and everything. What would be a good, cute, small pet to own if I'm not allowed to have any rodents? Mm. Mm. If you're not allowed to have any rodents, I'm trying to think what's not a rodent because, I mean, you definitely could um, get into, like, fish tanks and stuff like that. I think the fish hobby is, like, so fun and you can be so creative with, like, making fish tanks and stuff. And there's so many different types of fish that you can get and own. But obviously not everybody wants, like, a fish I know a lot of people want pets that they can, like, touch and things like that. Oh, you could technically, if you wanted to, get into reptiles um, because those aren't rodents. Did I draw the picture that I'm painting? Yes, I did. I just drew it last night. It's nothing, like, crazy. I was like, I want to paint tomorrow. So I need to draw something to paint. Um, and this is what I came up with. <laughs> Ta-da, we got, oh, okay. I'm gonna do the wings of this spaceship. Am I going to the hamster fair? So I will not physically be at the UK um, hamster fair because I cannot afford a $2,000 flight to the UK. I wish I could, but I can't. Um, so I'm going to be there through Zoom, Zoom or Skype or whatever. <laughs> so I will be there, but not physically there. Do I like golden doodles? Um, I think they're super duper cute. Do I necessarily like people breeding everything with like poodles and doodles? No. <laughs> the creator of like the original person who came up with the like golden doodle or I think that's yeah like wishes that he never ever did that. So that just goes to show. <laughs> Do I like ca capybaras, capybaras, barras, barras, tomato, tomato. <laughs> I think they're, they're like a very interesting creature. Like I want to know what they feel like because I feel like they feel very dense feeling and probably not soft. Oh, what the heck? This wing is longer than this one. Eh. <laughs> What's my favorite song? Oh my gosh. I don't think... See, I'm not a big favorites gal. Like, I can never just be like, yep, that is, like, my sole favorite thing. I like multiple things. Like, and it depends on my mood. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to listen to this. Or I want to listen to that. So, like, I, I just... I'm not a big favorite person. <laughs> Didn't you have a baby hamster called Bumble? I did. Um, she passed away in 2020. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. That's okay. I was going to say I put too much orange, but I'm going to need orange for a... Th 
this one is Mercury, this one is Mars, and I think they're like orangey reddish colors. I'm gonna have to look that up to figure that out, but. There are ants in my hamster cage. Um, if there's ants in your hamster's cage, I definitely would give it a clean out, first of all. Um, and then once you've cleaned it out and removed all of the ants, you're going to want to do some preventative measures to prevent the ants from going back into your hamster's enclosure. There's a lot of natural remedies you can do to, like, keep ants from, like, going places. <laughs> Do I ever get bored of hamsters? Um, I don't think I've ever really gotten bored of them. Maybe burnt out only because my life is very like involved with hamsters. And when you're involved with something for like a really long time, you definitely get burnout a lot. So that doesn't necessarily mean like I don't, it makes me hate hamsters or anything. It's just like, Sometimes you want to be able to, like, enjoy the things the way, like, you used to be able to, if that makes sense. There, we got a little, we got a little flame going. That's so cute. Okay, I need to look up Mercury and Mars to see what they look like. Do I like hamsters? No, I actually, um, I despise hamsters, um, and I've just chosen to, um, own them and paint them and, <laughs> uh, do all of that. I'm actually forced to do that. <laughs> just kidding. Yes, I like hamsters. Okay. So Mercury is like a little, little peachy moment. Um... Are insect bites a concern? It's mosquito season and I'm a little scared one will slip through the mesh and bite my hamster. Um, definitely insect bites can be an issue. Um, I've never had any problems with them. But for mosquitoes in particular, I don't think they would necessarily go after a hamster because it's going to be a lot harder for them. Like that's usually why mosquitoes like, you don't necessarily see them go for cats a lot of the time because of their fur. Um, it's harder to get the their little stinger or whatever through there. So, like, a mosquito definitely would probably just go to you before it tried to go to your hamster. Um, so, I don't think I would worry too, too much about that. Let's see. Okay, I'm just, just going to start painting this. Mercury. I I wanted to do like a peach color. Ugh. Maybe let's add some white. Would you say dwarf hamsters bite more than Syrian hamsters? Um, no, not necessarily. I mean, there definitely is um I think it's definitely more, well, I don't know. I've had some Syrian hamsters who bite a lot, and then I've had some, like, dwarf hamsters that don't bite at all, so I don't think it's necessarily fair to say, like, one bites more than the other, but I do know that because hybrid dwarfs are hybrids, they can have biting issues because they're just the neurological issues and things. So they can maybe bite more than, say, a Syrian hamster, but it doesn't necessarily determine that. I feel like my brain is just, like, separating. I'm, like, trying to paint, trying to answer questions. What is my zodiac sign? I am a Capricorn. Capricorn. 
trying to stay in the lines too. Um, it's very hard. Happy birthday to Peaches, Jellybean, and me. Happy birthday to all three of you. You all have the same birthday. Amazing. How often do you suggest rearranging a hamster's cage? So that's going to depend on your hamster. Some hamsters literally will never need their cage to be like rearranged unless maybe you get like a new hideout or toy or something that you think is going to benefit them. Then obviously like you can rearrange the cage then. But some hamsters just like are fine and they they're going to enjoy the cage setup that they have but then there's going to be hamsters who are not happy and they get bored really easy and would benefit from having their cage changed up once in a while so <laughs> it it depends on your hamster is what i'm trying to get at oh i need like a third orange Yeah, that, that's all we need for this Mercury. When you celebrate a hamster's birthday, do you do it from the date you got them or the estimated date that they were born? Um, it depends. If, um, like, for example, Dipper is from an ethical breeder, so I know when his birthday is, so I would celebrate his birthday on, like, the day that he was born. <laughs> But then for some hamsters that I, like, have no clue when their birthday is, I usually will just, like, celebrate it on the day that I had brought them home. Um, <clears throat> Waddles, for example, is a little bit different because his previous owners did, like, mention how old he was at the time. So I kind of just did the math <laughs> and calculated, you know, like, his birthday is likely in November. So... That's what I did for him. What camera do you use for waddles? I use a, I think I pronounce it wrong, but it's like a, a waz or ways, wise. That was three different pronunciations. Um, way, I like saying ways, ways V3. I love those cameras. They are just like the best. And thank you for the donation, EJ, EJ. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so bad with names. I'm so sorry. How do you find an ethical hamster breeder? Um, I would start with like, on Instagram, there's definitely a, a big community you can find them. Um, and then I would kind of talk to one of those like strong brew hamstery or squeaks and cheeks um and then ask if they know of any ethical breeders close to you or in your area um, and they might be able to help you some areas just don't have any ethical breeders like me for example um in that case like it may just not be an option or maybe you can figure out a different solution like if somebody is willing to like drive the hamster to a certain point where you can go pick them up or something like that. Thank you, Rizzy, for the super chat. What genre of music do I like? And then someone below asked, what kind of music do you listen to? Um, so I listen to everything. I, I like so many different types of music. Like I I think my main thing is usually it's like hip hop. I really like hip hop and rap, but I like R and B. I like pop. I like country. Um, what else is there? Sometimes some rock songs are good. Like I like it all. <laughs> okay, is this a different peach color? Let's add a little. Hello from Nova Scotia. Hi. What is your biggest phobia? Um, what is my biggest phobia? I don't, okay. 
I don't know if I have like super huge phobias where it's like necessarily going to stop me from doing certain things. Like I don't like heights, but I can like climb up on a roof or like fly on a plane. Like those are things that I'm fine with. Would I ever go zip lining? I don't think so. I might. Might. <laughs> um, would I ever like bungee jump or something? No. <laughs> I don't know what else is a phobia. I guess like beetles are one of my phobias, but I'm also not going to like die. Like I am going to freak out, but you know, I'm capable of like gathering myself together to like capture them and bring them back outside. <laughs> Hi, Karina. Okay. I hope this color is... Oh, I got paint on my finger. I'm going to get it everywhere. I think... Okay, now there's, like, way too much on my brush. And I love painting. Does that look like Mercury? Thank you for subscribing, Erica. Hi, Portia. Am I vegetarian? No, I am not. <laughs> I love when animals get the zoomies. It's absolutely adorable. Um, like when my cats... <clears throat> get the zoomies so cute Sadie is so crazy and Sadie like always puffs up her tail when she gets the zoomies too and it's so funny she loves to be like spooked I swear like if you go behind a corner poke your head out and then like poke back in and you wait and then like jump out she loves that she is definitely an interesting cat to say the least Can we see waddles? Um, no. <laughs> um, it's uh, way too early. Um, and I can't move this camera. Um, and I'm definitely not going to pick him up and bring him here. Because I just don't do that with, like, owning cats and stuff. I don't just carry them around my house. Because, like, if they jump ever and the cats get to them, that would be terrible. So, the, whenever I'm transporting them, like, in my house, they're always in a carrier um, so yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you own seven dogs? Wow, what, what dog breeds are they? Hi, Chime. Why don't I have guinea pigs? Um, because I just don't want them. <laughs> and I, I don't think I need to own every single rodent out there, do I? Are male hamsters more likely to get infections? Um, no. It doesn't really um, matter what sex they are. Like, infection just depends on, like, you and yourself. Or your hamster's self. How do your cats react to catnip? <clears throat> I think I've like done a bunch of videos before of giving the cats catnip and they always love it. It's so funny the different reactions. Sadie loves like immediately rolling on the catnip and then JJ likes eating it. And then after that they both kind of go all crazy. So they're so cute. Can I ask a question please? Sure. <laughs> Okay, now I need to look up Mars. Oh, it's more red. All right. Noise. Hi, Sadie. Here. Let's see if Sadie will come up and say hi to you guys. Oh, my gosh. And my stomach is growling. I'm hungry. Come here. You want to say hi to everybody? Come here. Jump up. Oh, 
yes. Oh, yes. Can you, can you hear her purring? Can you purring? Say hi, everybody. What are they doing? Do you see them typing? What are they saying? Are they talking about you? Oh, did you guys hear that meow? Titty. Oh, careful, careful. You're gonna mess it. You're gonna get your tail in paint. This is like the, the Sadie break. Sadie. Sadie. Wait, come here. Say meow. Say meow. Meow. Yeah! <laughs> Say meow. Say meow. You have to do it again. I love like talking to her. I swear I'm not crazy. Sadie knows what I'm saying. Sadie, Sadie say meow. See, did you guys hear that? She meowed. Say meow. She's laying on my lap now. So this is gonna make painting even better. <laughs> Girl, how am I supposed to paint with you right there? Don't eat my paintbrush. She's trying to like eat it now. Oh wait, you can see her whiskers like great. Here, but just stick your face in the there. Oh no 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 no, not that. Sadie, <laughs> no. Oh happy birthday to Kotsu. I hope I said that right, Kotsu, and thank you for the donation. Hi, Camille and Clover. My hamster ate all her babies for no reason. Do you know why? Um, well, there probably was. It wasn't prob. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. It probably wasn't for no reason. Sadie, stop. But you just may not understand why. Um, maybe your Syrian hamster felt threatened or stressed. She maybe just felt that she wasn't going to be an adequate mother. She may have felt that there was too many pups or that, um, what else? I've done a, a video on our hamsters cannibals and it kind of goes over, Sadie, it kind of goes over like why hamsters cannibalize others and their babies. Aw, oh, thank you for the super chat. Your, your Rhea? Your, oh gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm really bad with names. I apologize a million times. I just, I can't. Do you know why my hamster is biting her night angel cage? Um, she could just be bored or stressed. Um, even if you think like, hey, this should be enough space and I'm giving enough enrichment, it, it may just not be. Um, I had the same thing happen with Dipper. He was in the large night angel enclosure and I could have said, yeah, this is big enough for him and he has enough enrichment, but obviously it wasn't because he started chewing on the enclosure um, and then I built him the larger enclosure and I haven't had an issue since then. Where is JJ? JJ, Kate, girl, I gotta get you. Can you sit? Thank you. JJ is probably sleeping on my bed, I wanna say. Sadie! <laughs> girl, <laughs> you is, you is moving around all over town. <laughs> you guys see this? She's just like moving <laughs> everywhere. How big is Dipper's uh, new enclosure again? It is 1,152 square inches of floor space. Um, it's the same size as Waddles. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 that is my paintbrush. Look at what you did, you distracted me. I was painting um, and now I'm not. I'm supposed to be doing Mercury, girl. Okay, you can, you can be here, but you gotta, you gotta be quiet or not touch anything. I wish I had another camera to show you her on my lap. It is like so cute. I don't even think I can like, 
can slightly move it. Hey, put your... Oh, meow. Meow. You can see her... No, you still can't see her ear. What's my favorite cat breed? I don't think I really have a favorite... Oh, guys, look at her face. Are you watching me paint? I don't think I have a favorite cat breed. Um, because cat breeds just don't vary the same as dog breeds do. Um, and that's why I don't really think, like, I would ever get a cat from a breeder or look for a specific cat breed because, like, they don't vary like dogs do and, like, dog breeds vary temperament, like, the things that they do, all that jazz. <laughs> Cats are kind of just cats. Do you like watching me paint, Sadie? <laughs> Your painting looks so cool. Thank you. I'm trying my best. Obviously, this is, like, not going to be anything special. But it gives me something to do while I'm streaming. And Sadie likes it, too, don't you? Um... Maybe in the future I'll, like, find some other little crafts that I can do on stream. Um, I am a multitasking type of person. Like, I don't think I could just sit on stream and do, like, a Q&A because I need to be doing something with my hands and, like, focus on something else as well. And this happens to me a lot, like, when I'm watching TV or, like, a movie um, and I feel bad because I know a lot of people hate when other people go on their phone when they're watching a movie or trying to show you a show, but I have to, like, I have to be kind of doodling, not doodling, just like looking at Instagram on my phone while I watch a show or something or, you know, I can't just sit, like the show would have to be so good for me to not be doing anything else. This paintbrush kind of sucks. <laughs> Ta -da. Okay, first red. Uh, put some white. Have I ever listened to Jack S S St Stabers <laughs> music? I don't think so. Would you get a dog if you had enough room and didn't have other pets? Um, if I had no other pets, of course I would get a dog. Um, do I think I would get a dog while living here still? If I had no other pets, probably. But I still don't really like the idea of having a dog where I live because I just don't like having to like make a dog rely on me to take it out like obviously I'm going to take a dog out no matter where I live for a walk and stuff but you can't take your dog out like five times a day to go to the bathroom like it's not the same as having a yard where you can just be like oh you need to go to the bathroom here you go like you know it's a whole thing if you live in a condo so I just don't think it's, like, necessarily fair for a dog. And that's why I'm waiting. But trust me, I hate waiting. <laughs> I really wish I could have a dog. Would I ever get a chihuahua? No, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of, like, small dogs. Though they are also very cute as well. I just i am not, like, a huge fan. There's very, like few small breed dogs that I would like consider owning. I don't know why I decided to stream before I ate breakfast. <laughs> because I am hungry and my stomach is growling and I really hope you can't hear that. Do I love my condo? I do. I honestly love it so much. It is just like my happy place sometimes. I just love the way it looks. I love all of the bright light. 
I love my balconies. It is, it is truly the best place that I could be right now. <laughs> I don't know. This is, I mean, it, it, it doesn't look like Mars, but it's something. It is something. How long have you been doing YouTube? Um, I think I, I'm blanking now, but I think it's been, It's been 12 years. So <laughs> that is how long I've been doing YouTube. I am like a senior on YouTube. So I've seen YouTube change so many times. Like you don't even know. It used to look so different. It changed a lot. And it's actually like it hasn't changed in a really, really, really long time. Have you taught your cats any tricks? Um, no, but I do know that Sadie would be really good at learning tricks. Um, because I kind of was like trying it out with her. I was like, spin and like, she definitely would be able to get the hang of it. I just need to like, have uh, like the time <laughs> to like, just sit down and do like training sessions with her. What is your, okay, I can't speak. What's your comfort movie or show? Um, my comfort shows definitely are like adult cartoons or even like kid cartoons like Gravity Falls. Like um, I can go to sleep with like Bob's Burgers playing or American Dad or Family Guy or The Simpsons, any of those. And then just like, they make me feel so comforted. I don't know if I have a comfort movie. Maybe it would pro if it comfort movie would probably be like another like a kid's thing. Like up <laughs> or something like that. Oh, I hate this paintbrush. It sucks. You're just sitting with me and you're so cute. Oh my goodness. This paintbrush is a little bit better. There we go. I think that's all for the red. Yes. I'm going to do the little pink on the hamster now. Are white hamsters rare? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are white hamsters rare? Uh, not necessarily, no. I wouldn't say that they are necessarily rare. I think it probably just depends on, like, where you live and everything. It might be rare for some people, but it might also not be rare for some people. Mm. Will I be getting another hamster... Since Babel passed, no. Um, I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but I will not be. Okay. I want to fill in these dots, and I need, like, which red did I use? Oh, I used this one. Oh, that should work. Did you start doing lives more often now? Um, I try to do like a live stream at least once a week now because I like live streaming. It's like something different for me to do and it doesn't feel like a chore or a job. Like like if I'm playing a video game and just live streaming, like that's that's fun for me. Or doing this right now. This is this is fun for me. So that's why I started doing them. <laughs> K 
Okay, now to do the pink. Are you against YouTube shorts? I'm not against them. I just don't like them. If I'm being 100% honest. Like, there's just, like, too many platforms. There's Instagram Reels, TikToks, YouTube shorts. I cannot keep up. <laughs> like, I need to hire someone to just do all of it for me. Okay, pink. Pink, pink, pink. Pink for the hamster's nose. I guess I could have added white to that, but I didn't. Oh, that's like perfect. Do I watch YouTube shorts? I don't. So like, that's the thing. Like if I'm going to watch like a short video, it's either going to be a TikTok reel or no. It's going to be an Instagram reel or it's going to be like a TikTok. I, I don't come to YouTube to watch short form content. I come to YouTube to watch long form content. Little nose. It's so cute. I have these two hamsters too. Ugh. Gotta try. Oh, and that was supposed to be really cute. Hi, Frida. Thanks for joining the live. What's my favorite color? <laughs> okay. So, once again, not a big favorite gal, but I like a variety of colors. <laughs> I love, like, Dusty Rose, Terracotta, um, Turquoise, um, Sage Green. Like, I couldn't, like, tell you a favorite, but if you picked one of those colors, I would be happy. Hi, Natasha and Agatha. Thank you for the support. I don't like this hamster's nose. It's not as cute as this one. Now to do let's try this little one. Oh, we have to do the ears too. Ears gotta be pink. Hi Emma. Hello from Germany. Oh my gosh. Hello. I would love to go to Germany, but once again, it would cost a lot of money to fly there and I don't have that money. Oh, are you leaving? Are you deciding to go? Do you want to say like goodbye first before you go? Ugh. Say goodbye guys. Okay, be free. Be free. How old is Waddles? So, Waddles is estimated... He's estimated to be 2.5 years old. So, I'm thinking he's going to, like... I think Waddles might live a like a super long time knock on wood again but i just like i can see it he's like a mortal waddles is a boy <laughs> and yeah waddles has not changed his looks since i like had him like he has not gotten older looking or anything he's always looked the exact same and that's insane to me. Oh, what the heck? There's like a hairball here. What is this hair doing here? Sadie? <laughs> and there's hair on my face too. I love that. Love when I get cat hair on my face. 
the rabbits. Okay, the rabbits age. Lola, I think she's estimated to be seven or eight years old. Though, yeah, seven or eight. And then Cleo. Cleo was born in 2017. So Cleo's six or she's going to be six in September. Do I plan on doing any cat care videos anytime soon? Probably not. It's just not something that like I'm super interested in doing. Um, if you're interested in learning more about like cat care and stuff or you need more info on cats, I definitely would recommend watching Jackson Galaxy on YouTube. Um, he has really good videos. We're, we're like getting, we're getting somewhere with the, with the painting. <laughs> I just want to see. What breeds are Cleo and Lola? <clears throat> I think Lola is like a mini lop mix. And then Cleo is a lion head mini lop. Or no, lion head lop mix. Hi from Slovakia. Oh my gosh. That is like, <laughs> that's so crazy. How many shrimp do you have? I have six currently. Oh, we should do the moon next. Which I need gray. I need black. How am I? I am doing pretty good. Um, I'm excited tonight. I'm going to be hanging out with some friends. Um, and maybe go hot tubbing. Um, and just enjoy myself. That was like way too much black I put. Don't need that much. Because we're going to make gray. So we don't even need that much black. That's... That might be too much. Hi from Brazil. Oh my gosh. There are people from everywhere. That's like blowing my mind that there are people just like in a completely different environment than I am right now. That's, ah, that's so insane. <laughs> Any new plants? Oh my gosh, yes, I can show you my new plant. Um, I went to a garden center the other day um, and I got, I have like, I have this type of plant obviously, but I don't have this variation of it. So this is a prayer plant and this is like the one with like the red veins. Actually, I can show you on here. See? Beautiful. I love it. Amazing. I love prayer plants. We need another collab with Emmy. Yes, we do. I wish that me and Emmy could like collab in person. Um, and maybe one day we will meet up with each other in a like maybe we'll meet halfway. We'll both go to like America and then meet that way. We could go to Disney together, me and Emmy. Because I've never been to Disney. And I know that Emmy does like Disney. <laughs> um, thank you for the super chat. Hello to you as well. <laughs> Who is Emmyology? Emmyology is an amazing person. She runs a rescue and she does YouTube. She has rats and mice and her kitty cat Hubble and soon to be a puppy. 
So she's an awesome person. Come to Ohio. <laughs> what am I going to do in Ohio? Are there like fun things to do there? Okay, the moon is getting done. We're getting somewhere. Now I need a darker gray. A little bit more black and mix it. <laughs> Don't come to Ohio. It's terrible here. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad. Um, but I definitely understand where you're coming from. What, what species would your next hamster be or would like to have in the future? Um, I definitely would like to own a dwarf hamster again. Um, so that would be a possibility. Maybe, maybe a robo. I, sometimes I think about it and I'm like, hmm, I would like to have a robo again, but I don't know. Um, I definitely always want to have a Syrian hamster because that is my favorite species. For traveling, I've really, I've never really left, like, America. <laughs> I've been to, like, Hawaii um, and Las Vegas. Um, and I've also been to the U.S. Virgin Islands. So I've been to St. Croix and St. Thomas. There. It's looking like a good moon. Okay, my nose is itchy with cat hair. Sadie. <laughs> you have a wood lice enclosure? That is so cute. Wood lice are like adorable. I love them. What do hamsters like the most? Well, <laughs> it probably is very dependent on the hamster in what they like the most. Like some are going to like destroying things more than others and some are going to like food more than others. So I cannot accurately answer that because I'm not the hamster. Oh my gosh. I have cat hair in my nose. Oh, okay. Lovely. I, I, I love fur. Hi from Scotland. Oh my gosh. There is everybody here. That is insane. I like that like looks that looks moonish add some like little whites to it like this maybe some like little dots that's a moon <laughs> Oh my gosh, Bolivia. <gasps> Literally, there's so many different people here. That is amazing. Italy? Like, come on. We got the whole world here. Newfoundland. South UK. Sweden. Oh my gosh. What's your favorite animal other than the ones you have? 
So are we talking animals, like all the animals in the world? Or are we just talking like domesticated pets? Um, if we're talking about like animals, once again, I don't have a favorite. I like foxes, wolves, big cats are really cool. Um, European hamsters are so cute. Singapore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Missouri, Portugal, thank you, the Toka sisters, oh my gosh, Colombia, you guys, Barcelona, Spain, that's so crazy, <laughs> are Roboroski dwarfs one of my favorite species? Um, my favorite is Syrian hamsters, but I do definitely like robos. Pennsylvania, LA, <laughs> Hungary. Do I like rats? I do like rats. Um, I don't know if I would ever own rats simply because I have seen how many issues there can be with them when it comes to like bonding and health issues and things like that and honestly I don't want to go through the stress like I feel like I kind of have the perfect world of like hamsters have the health issues side but they're solitary and then rabbits rabbits have the bonding like issues of like you know once one passes away you have to bond another rabbit because they're social so do you have a panda hamster? Um, well, a panda hamster is just like a black and white Syrian hamster. So um, I don't currently have a black and white Syrian hamster, but I have had a black and white ham Syrian hamster before. Would I ever get a Daegu? I don't know. I don't really know that much about Daegu's. I think they remind me of like giant gerbils. <laughs> Okay, we're getting close to like almost like doing the background and that's going to be fun. I'm excited about that. I guess we could do the hamster. I'm a little bit scared to do him. I'm going to make like an orange hamster. I'm going to need a little bit of yellow. Thank you, Carrie. Okay, which yellow? Okay, it's like, where is it? It's a very specific color. Of course, it's the only yellow that I didn't grab. This one. I have never owned a chinchilla. I definitely would be interested in owning them maybe one day, but I think they also uh, like have very specific like care requirements and like they're very like they need a very specific temperature and stuff. So you have to be really careful with them and their diets are very specific as well. So Your video editing is awesome. Thank you. I am self-taught. <laughs> and it's taken me a really long time to like get decent at video editing. Okay, so I don't want a neon hamster. So I'm gonna like lighten this orange a bit. I'm gonna just take some dish. And see what color this makes. <laughs> Hello to Pashmina the Hammy. It's a really cute name, Pashmina. Aww. Wait. 
Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Are you coming back? You making your rounds? Sadie's like, Mom, can you please stop streaming? Meow. Meow. Can you guys hear her meowing? Come here. Up. Come up again. Come here. Come up. Jump up. You guys can hear her? Oh my gosh. This is like my life. I'll literally be doing my own thing, minding my own business, and this woman has to be like, Mom, what are you doing? Like, I want to do it too. Like, give me attention. No, don't touch the paint. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't get that on your paw. No, you. No, I know. You can't get paint. <gasps> Shady, you have paint on your tail. Girl, girl, I know you have paint on your tail. Now you have a rainbow tail. Okay. Let me get, let me show you. Can I show them the paint tail? Girl, please. You're, you're causing me so much stress. Do you guys see this? Look at this. Her tail is full of paint. I mean, it's just like water-based acrylic, so it's not toxic or anything. But I really didn't want to get paint on you. You are a bum. This is why we can't do anything fun, because you are like a menace to society. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, no, don't be like knocking into everything. Trying to like finish my painting. We can hang out after I'm done live streaming. Okay? Yeah, I know. Mm hmm. Kate Sadie, your head is kind of in the way, so I can't. I can't see. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, Cookie Monster Forever. Welcome to the stream. Do I have a mix of flowers and herbs that I can recommend? Um, I honestly don't because I just like get all of the safe ones and then I just combine them all together and then feed it like that. So I would just say get whatever you think. Uh, your hamster is going to like. I can't believe you stuck your tail in the paint. Like, girl. Really? Really? And somebody is outside using a chainsaw. I, like, come on. I'm trying to live stream here. Any video today. Uh, tomorrow um, will be when I post my video. So look out for that. Do I have Squishmallows? I don't. Am I going to get like hated on if I say that I'm not like a big fan of Squishmallows? Like I don't necessarily like find them to be cute. <laughs> Some of them are cute. But I just don't really understand, like, the big hype. Now, Palm Pals, that's where it's at. Okay, Sadie, stop chewing on the string. You're being a brat, and I don't appreciate it. Sadie is worse than a toddler. Can I show my tattoo? Um, here is how my tattoo looks now. It's like, it's healed really well. And it still looks really good. So I'm very happy with it. Um, I still do want more tattoos in the future. Not too many, but I have some ideas. I definitely want a hamster paw print.
does pet value hamsters come from rodent mills? Um, I don't really know the answer to that. Um, because our pet values here in Canada don't sell like any animals besides like betas. So I've never really known them to be like animal like sellers. So I don't, I don't know. I probably wouldn't exactly trust it. <laughs> the really tiny hamsters are like super hard to paint. How many plants do you have? Um, it's over 50 now. My goal was 50, but now that I've hit it, now my goal is 100. So maybe this summer I will hit a goal of 100 plants because I think that would be so fun. <laughs> will you give us a condo tour? I actually already have one up on my channel. It is a couple years old, but it's still, that's still kind of like how my condo looks. There's just some things that are different, like more plants. <laughs> okay. We're getting close to being done. I should probably do like the black of the eyes. That would be good. And then I might like do the little astronaut suit. Oh my gosh. Don't mess up, Victoria. Cute. Uh, okay, well one eye is better than the other. It's 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 fine. What am I gonna name my masterpiece? I'm not sure. This will just be hamsters in space. <laughs> Oh, this. Oh, you know what? I messed up. I wanted this hamster to be. Girl, why? What? Careful! What are you doing? She just decided to like roll over on my lap. Okay, I wanted this alien to be like a green hamster, and I like completely forgot. It's okay. Its eyeballs are not. Oh gosh, I've just, I don't know if you can really see it, but here. Oh, uh, that one's a, we're just going to pretend like it doesn't look like that. Named hammies in space. Hi to Sherbert and Hazel the hamsters. How are the shrimps doing? The shrimps are doing really, really good. One of them is going to have babies soon, so that's really exciting because I was not expecting that to happen so soon. Like, I knew that it was possible that the shrimp would end up breeding with each other, but I kind of also thought, like, it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> and then it just ended up happening. How will you take care of a hundred plants? Honestly, it's not like that hard. Like plants are so easy and I have an app called Planta and uh, it basically will just tell you like when to water that specific plant based on like where you live and the type of pot it's in. So like it's, it's easy. Okay, space suit time. gonna be like a uh, very 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 pale blue I'm running out of white I 
Have I ever had a plant infection? Do you mean like, um, like having a plant with like fungal infections? Um, if so, no, I haven't, but I have experienced pests and pests are not fun. Like spider mites, scales, mealybugs, aphids. So fun. Not. <laughs> I currently have like one of the new plants that I had gotten a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's a new Hoya and I thought it was fine. And it was on like clearance at a plant shop and I was like, oh my gosh, like it's a little beaten up, but like it'll be fine. I'll nurse it back to health. And so I placed it in my office <laughs> and I was looking at it and I was like, oh my gosh, two new leaves have grown in. And then I looked at the leaves and I was like, yeah, there's mealy bugs on it. So now I have to quarantine it and treat it and kill all the mealy bugs okay that is like a perfect blue i'm i'm happy with that do you think carly is a cute hamster name i think that definitely is a cute name honestly like any name that you think of i think is a good name I really want to paint the background while we're on stream. I think we should be able to do that because we've only been streaming for an hour and 37 minutes. So I should be able to paint the background. There, and then there's, okay, that thing, maybe gray. Bye, Josh Zimmerman. Okay. Gray. Lady, what are you getting into? Hey. She's like crawling underneath the thing where the shrimp tank is on. Lady. I can hear you. Come here. Sadie is worse than a toddler, for anybody wondering. Um, <laughs> she, she literally is a toddler. You have a 700 word essay due by lunch today and have not started and it's 10 to 6. You gotta get going. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Sometimes you just got to like sit down and be like, okay, I'm going to do this. And then you just start. A lot of the times that's what I would have to do in like high school when I was like putting off homework and stuff. I'd just be like, okay, time to sit down and like actually get this done. And then maybe give yourself an award <laughs> when you're done. Do I have an aloe vera plant? If so, where did you get it? Um, I do have one. It's like kind of half hanging out of the pot dead because I don't really care what happens to it, to, <laughs> to be completely honest. But I got it from my mom. Um, it's like really, it's like shaped weird. I don't, I don't know. It's not my favorite plant. Do you think an enclosure with a thousand square inches is too big? No, never. Okay, I'm gonna paint these little dots and then I think I'll do the background. Yes. Okay. What color am I gonna do those? Have I ever been to Montreal? No. Um, I literally know zero French either, so like I would not be able to go there because I would just be lost.
what color am I trying to achieve? I don't exactly know. Like a darker red. It's kind of brown. It'll work. It'll be fine. Do I have any fish or aquariums? I do. I have my shrimp shrimp tank and it has little auto catfish two auto catfish in it but those are the only fish that i have in it um will i ever get more fish for the tank probably not i'd like to like see what happens with the shrimp and like how many babies end up and then once they're like big enough i would maybe consider getting a beta fish or a betta fish whatever you want to However you want to pronounce it. <laughs> because I think a beta would be very happy in that tank. Okay. Time to do the background. I'm going to do like something cool. <laughs> or I hope it will be cool. <laughs> We're going to need purples and the black. Hi, Mia. How are you doing? Where did I get most of my plants? Um, either from like garden centers or clippings from my mom or clippings from like other family members or Home Depot, Superstore, literally anywhere that has a plant, it's not safe because I'll probably buy a plant there. See, this is why I love, like, acrylic, because, like, look, you can make it into, like, a watery, a watercolor type paint. Okay. <laughs> this is, like, a little bit scary, but it's fine. My hamster has a 757 square inch cage, but still believes that he is a spider ham. How do I stop this? Um, if your hamster is still monkey barring in an enclosure that large, um, you may need to like upgrade. And I know that's not what everyone wants to hear, but if they are still showing that behavior in that enclosure, it just might not be big enough for them because they're like you can't really say like what is big enough for a hamster because it's completely going to depend on that hamster so while some hamsters might be like okay in a 700 square inch enclosure there's going to be hamsters that are not and they're going to be like hey <laughs> I need more space I need more things to like stimulate my brain Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, honestly, this is like a whole trust the process type thing here. I don't know how it's going to end up looking, but... I feel like I should have did the background maybe first because then I could be less careful around everything. 
Thanks, Brooke, for subscribing. Is it warm outside for you yet? Um, define what you would say is warm because what is warm to me is not warm to other people. <laughs> like 60s okay what is 60s in celsius <laughs> i don't think it's uh, honestly it's probably not 60 outside and like 60 oh, i was like where did my phone go i'll do my own conversion Okay, so our different our definitions of what is warm is completely different. See, like I honestly, for me, fifty degrees Fahrenheit is warm. So, thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Melissa, for subscribing. I do have, a, like, a larger brush. It's just not here with me. And that would probably be helpful. Okay, now everybody is just like resubscribing just to see their name. Fourteen degrees Celsius, that is nice. That's like a nice spring day. Sadie, what are you getting into? I will give you all the attention in the world if you just like wait a little until I'm done this stream and then and then I'm all yours. I've never um I've never had any snails and I don't know if I really want snails because I know like those things reproduce like crazy. Um, and then they're going to eat all my plants. Girl, what is you doing down there? I see you. Okay, somebody is going actually insane with a chainsaw out there. Like, what are you doing? What are you cutting? You are literally cutting. It's like dirt. He's chainsawing the dirt. I don't understand people. <laughs> Hi, me and my pets. <laughs> oh, gosh. Is the drawing up for sale? I mean, if you want to bid on it. Just kidding. I don't think this is worth any, any money. <laughs> Maybe if I did a better job at it, but this is kind of like just for fun. All right, we like get it. We get it. You're chainsawing literally like nothing. Like, I don't like people. Ten thousand pounds. That's how much you'd pay for my painting. Honestly, I'll take it. <laughs> then, if you give me ten thousand pounds for this painting then I can fly to the UK multiple times and I can buy myself a switch <laughs> we're golden
are you ever thinking about moving? Um, I don't plan to, like, live in my condo the rest of my life. My kind of, like, plan is to, like, be here for, like, five years or so, which I've been here for three. Um, and then in that time, uh, save to be able to get, to, like, an actual house. Sadie, go! <laughs> Sadie! She's, like, sticking her head into... A bag. For no reason. So I don't plan to live here forever. <laughs> Though in this economy, it might just end up being that. Am I ever going to change my profile picture? Um, maybe. <laughs> I like it, so. What hamster food do you use? I make my own hamster food because I don't really like what's available to me. <laughs> and I just, I like being able to make my own food because I know what is, like, going into it. I know, like, I'm, a, I'm the one who gets to source all of the ingredients. Sadie! <laughs> you need to go lay down. Hi, Sophie. What got you into hamsters? So I really had no clue about hamsters until I was like nine or, yeah, I want to say I was like about eight or nine. Um, so I like didn't know hamsters even existed until like um, my babysitter at the time had a hamster um, and his name was Freddy and uh I was, like, in love with him. I was, like, oh, my gosh. Like, I love Freddy so much. And my babysitter went on vacation. And she, like, let me babysit him. Or pet sit him. He's not a baby. Pet sit him. And then when she came back, or... I'm telling the story all, like, out of order. So... Okay, before she went on vacation, I was, like, in love with hamsters. And so I had, like, asked my parents, and they were, like, okay, like, if you if you use your money and stuff, like, you can get a hamster. So then that's how I got my hamster buddy. Um, and that was my first hamster that I ever had. He was a long-haired, sable-banded Syrian hamster. Um, and, then, and then we cut to my babysitter going on vacation, and letting me look after Freddie while she's gone and then she came back and she was like you can keep him <laughs> and I was like ecstatic I was like are you kidding me like I get to keep this hamster that I'm like in love with um, and then I ended up with two hamsters for a little while there and that's what started it all so thank you to my babysitter <laughs> How old am I? I am 24 years old. Hi, Arlene. What's your favorite game? Hmm... I like a lot of games like most of the games that I really enjoy are like free world or open world type games and like I like Assassin's Creed and like Stardew Valley is fun too um but one of my favorite games that like is a game that I actually fully completed was Ratchet and Clank and I know that there's, like, a new one. I don't... I think it's, like, Ratchet and Clank, like, Rift 
rift apart rift away i don't know but i would love to get that but i think it's only for ps5 and i don't have a ps5 so I'm so close to being like done covering this up and then I'm gonna like add purple into it, but I'm also getting hungry. Cause I haven't eaten yet and it's, it's almost been two hours and I've been awake for a while. Are pines shavings okay for hamsters? Um, no. <clears throat> Unfortunately, pine shavings are not safe for hamsters. They can cause upper respiratory infections. Hi, Alicia and Pepper the hamster. Um, what do I normally do while painting? I usually would have like a show going, honestly. Show or like a longer YouTube video. Oh my gosh, it's like starting to rain outside. Haha, uh -huh, now you can't chainsaw because it's raining. <laughs> what am I going to do after this live? Well, I'm probably going to eat because I'm hungry. And then I'm going to do some cleaning up. I still have to write subtitles for my video for tomorrow so I'm gonna do that um and then that should probably bring me to around the time where I'm going to be going out and go hot tubbing Are evergreen tree leaves okay for hamsters? I don't, I don't know for sure. Um, I, so I probably would not uh, give them evergreen trees. So evergreen trees typically are carnivorous trees. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I probably would avoid giving them. Oh my gosh, we're so close. I just need this like little space over here. I have two dwarf hamsters that live together. What do I do? I don't have the room for two bins. If you don't have the room for two enclosures, um, this probably is not what you want to hear, but unfortunately it would be best to rehome one of the hamsters, even if they are fine together for now, if there ever is a fight and you need to end up separating them, like you're going to have to have that room to be able to have two enclosures. Switching brushes. <laughs> Thanks, spike flies. It's it's definitely something. It's it, it's a painting. I don't know how good it is, but it's um a painting. 
Have I been to Europe? No, unfortunately I have not. Oh, thank you, Gwen. <laughs> I've definitely um, painted better things in my life. I wonder if I have any of my stuff to show you guys. I don't think I have it with me. Top five best hamster item brands. Oh. I think five is maybe too many because I don't know if I know five. I definitely like Night Angel, obviously. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Bucoste. I, I think that's maybe how you pronounce it. They have some like looks to be some decent hamster products um who else um that there's not a lot of brands I'm <laughs> like I'll be real there's there's not a lot of like awesome hamster brands out there there's like brands that will have like one or two good things and then the rest of the things like they sell are not necessarily like the best like like let's say like kt for example like they might have like some safe hamster things but not all of their stuff is hamster safe okay that's that for the black sell this painting for 999 dollars <laughs> don't think anyone will pay that Now I'm going to add some purple in. And whatever this color is. Just to give the sky a little, little pop of color. Weirdest nickname you have had. Um, I don't know if there's ever been like a weird nickname. Um, I think most of the time people just call me like normal nicknames like Vic or Tori. Like those are, those are pretty normal. My hamster got wet tail. What can I do? If your hamster has wet tail, you are going to have to go see your local exotic vet as soon as possible. Um, it is very life-threatening if it is, like, actual true wet tail. So, unfortunately, that is the only thing that you're going to be able to do to, like, treat it. What ring light do you use? Um, I think it's, like, oh, it's the, it's the newer brand. So, N... E E W E R. That is the one that I use. I use a lot of their like lighting type stuff. They seem to be like a decent camera brand. Don't get jealous, but I am eating sushi. Okay, well, I'm starving right now, and that sounds very good. So, I am jealous.
You are the Drake of the hamster community. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. Okay, next time we live stream, I want to do like a fun craft that's going to do, that's going to look good. Because <laughs> I'm not impressed with my painting. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's definitely like it's something. It's, it's a painting. But... There's, like, some stuff that I have to finish on it. Like, do something with the bubbles. And then maybe some stars in the background. Do I like Billie Eilish? I think she has some pretty decent music. Hi, paintbrush. There's a tiny little star. Oh, I see. <laughs> what country would you most like to go to in Europe? Um, hmm. That is a good question. I think there's a lot lot of countries that I would be actually like interested in going to there my little stars Oh my gosh, I feel like this this could have been better. What state do you live in? The 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 Canadian state. Okay. That is all I'm going to paint today. <laughs> I'm, I'm like sick of it. I'm kind of hating how it looks. So, I am going to end <laughs> the stream here because we've been going for like two hours i'm starving i haven't eaten yet um and sadie probably wants me to give her some attention so i hope you guys have enjoyed this stream um and i hope i will see you on my next one and don't forget to check out our new video coming tomorrow so bye everybody